For the first time in four years, Florida is seeing a drop in opioid overdoses. A new report shows the rate has dropped more than two and a half percent in areas across the state, except in Tampa Bay. Sadly for our local counties, overdose deaths continue to climb. And because this epidemic is constantly evolving, treatment has to evolve with it. Every 94 minutes, someone is admitted to an emergency room. That is why Tampa General Hospital is partnering with the Central Florida Behavioral Health Network. They are treating opioid abuse in Hillsborough County through a mobile unit program called Idea Exchange Tampa. For more on this, we want to bring in Dr. Jason Wilson. He is the Division Chief of Emergency Medicine at USF. He is also one of the medical directors for Idea Exchange Tampa. Doctor, thank you so much for joining us. Yeah, happy to be here. This mobile unit program is the first of its kind in our region. How does Idea Exchange Tampa work? Well, you know, Tampa General has really been leading the way in combating this opioid use epidemic for a, for a long time now. If you go back a few years ago, we first started trying to give people help when they came to our emergency departments. We gave them a medicine called buprenorphine or Suboxone. But what we realized was that we were still seeing people with overdoses coming in as we had to go beyond the walls of the hospital and move out into the community. And so a few years back, the Infectious Disease Elimination Act idea was passed by the governor and the state legislature. And that allowed us to go to the community and start a syringe exchange program, do HIV testing, hepatitis C testing, and start to meet people where they, where they were out in the community. But what we didn't have yet was a way to actually prescribe the medication for people who needed help in the community versus in the hospital. This new partnership from Central Florida Behavioral Health Network and Tampa General allows us to do just that. Wow, so you're, you're meeting people where they are, bringing the help out into the community, making it easier for them. Uh, what treatment options does it offer? Yeah, so if you look back in time, the people who had opioid use disorder were using opioids but wanted to stop, wanted to get some help. It was a very limited number of places they could go to get that help. So then people figured out, well, maybe the ER is a place I could go. And if, if you show up there, we will help you with that. But only some people come there, and oftentimes they're already at the time of an overdose and they show up in the ER. So what we realized, if we go out to the community, we can actually offer that medicine, Suboxone, to people who are ready for that medicine right there. Now, if you're not ready for that medicine, we still have other ways to help you as well. Syringe exchange, HIV, hepatitis C, testing and treatment, and then also some basic primary care and wound care as well. Uh, now I mentioned this new report that says opioid overdoses are dropping in Florida. Great news, but uh, unfortunately not dropping in Tampa Bay. Uh, what is the situation like in our area? It's rough right now. It's a very tough spot to be in. What we're seeing is the, the drugs in the supply keep on changing and becoming more powerful, more deadly, and more potent. We're seeing more fentanyl and more xylazine. Uh, and both of these agents cause death, and they also cause other things like large wounds. So the complications of these that require hospitalization or really changes in people's lives is significant. So we have to keep on amping up and ramping up how we offer tools to people to help uh, deal with this type of disease and where we, where we offer that help as well. Uh, now the program is partnering with the Central Florida Behavioral Health Network. So what will that mean for the people you serve? Yeah, really before it'd be very hard for somebody with opioid use disorder who wanted to stop to find a doctor to help them get buprenorphine, that medicine that we, we know from the data saves lives. We know that people who take that medicine, Suboxone, instead of taking opioids, live long enough to continue their recovery. And that's really our goal is to keep people alive long enough to continue the recovery, to keep them alive long enough not to catch hepatitis C or HIV or transmit those diseases to other people. So now they're gonna have access to physicians like myself, other physicians through our network, uh, they're through the mobile unit, um, and then also access to the medications as well. Wow, what an amazing tool we have in our community, community treating people uh, inside and out, and hopefully uh, bringing those numbers down like we need to see. Uh, Dr. Wilson, thank you so much for your time and insight, and of course, um, for all that important work you're doing in our community. No problem, those, those mobile hours are at ideexchangetampa.com. All right, thank you so much. Thank you. Check them out.